the initial reason that I ask these questions is because I want to do my job at a high level. I want to play my best. I want to win games. I want to win a championship. And it's very difficult to focus on those things when I'm focused about my health, when I'm unsure about the protocols regarding Corona, when I'm unsure that my mental health is going to be okay after two months in isolation. What is quarantine like? Can our wives and kids leave? What happens if someone tests positive? Things like that. We had none of that information at the time. And I think a lot of people can relate to the fact that if they didn't have these answers in their workplace, wherever they work, in a school, an office, whatever, if they can't get the answers to those questions, they might not be able to do their job to the best of their ability. So you've seen frustration from players that there's not a good way to get these answers. And a lot of people don't like that we've, you know, voiced it via Twitter. And I'm very encouraged that uh, Professor Grotto and uh, the chairman came to talk to us a few days ago about these guidelines. But this was weeks later. And the question I have is, would they have come if we didn't say anything on Twitter? Would they have answered our questions? Or would they have just expected us to, to go out and play? So I'd like to see more information, more open information between the players in the league. And I've expressed this to the officials in the Winter League that I've talked to since. And I'm encouraged by that because they understand that there needs to be better communication between us. So you see guys like uh, Tayshaun Thomas and Jacob and Brown and Alex Hamilton, guys from good clubs throughout Israel that have the same questions that we do. And they ask the same questions. Dominic Waters from Naharia, they ask the same questions that we do about testing, about the quarantine. So it's not just us. And we get a lot of the attention. But, you know, if you look a little wider, you can see that all the Americans throughout the league have these issues. Um, you know, yesterday with the ELPA letter coming out, um, I saw some, some backlash from, you know, fans and, and some players that, you know, were trying to harm the league. And, and nothing could be further from the truth. Um, a good winter league is, is good for me personally. You know, the better the league is, the better my situation is. I play in Israel. I play for the Winter League. If the league's good, I'm good. But the only thing that I want to do is I want to come back and play in a safe way, both physically and mentally. And if I can't do that, I'm going to try to work to get it better. And I'm not just working for myself. I'm not just working for my teammates here. The questions and concerns that I've raised apply to every team in the league. You know, it's not... These aren't rules that I'm looking for just for Maccabi. I want... Maccabi Haifa players, I want Naharia players, I want Jerusalem players to also be able to go out of their apartment. I've seen in the media lately um, a lot of inflammatory headlines like Jake Cohen attacks Winter League or Scotty Wilbekin attacks Winter League, Maccabi attacks Winter League. And I'm just going to speak for, the, for me personally because my the questions and concerns that I've raised on Twitter are not attacks. They are questions and concerns that I want answers to. At no point have I asked to cancel the league or to hurt anyone else's paycheck. At no point have I asked that. I'm not driving for it now. The league is coming back. Great. Let's do it in a healthy way, physically and mentally. I'm not attacking the league. I get that it doesn't get as many clicks as Jake Cohen raises concerns with the Winter League. But that's the truth. I've been getting some criticism lately, um, which I can't really understand from from players and other teams uh you know and usually they just group it in as as maccabi players are are crying or whining and if that's how one you want to describe it you know that's up to you but what we're asking for is simply more safety regulations if you want to call that crying sure but the regulations that we want will apply to the whole league and in doing so we haven't attacked anyone we haven't attacked any other teams. We haven't attacked any individual players. We simply asked for a little bit more information, a little bit more protocols. You know, attack, if you have something to attack, attack our ideas. Attack what we're proposing. Don't attack us. We have an agenda to come back in a safe way. We don't have an agenda to take anyone else down. We don't have an agenda to hurt anyone else's paycheck. We want to be as safe as possible. We want everyone in the league to be as safe as possible.